What is up everybody? Hope you all have been having a great league so far. I mean, I've also been playing uh, a little bit more after, you know, testing all of the bleed skills that are out there that they've put out. Lacerate of Hemorrhage, I mean, it's technically a no-brainer. It's, for me, what you would go for if you are using a one-handed weapon. And uh, Bladestorm is really nice because it has the flexibility of either being used for a one-handed or a two-handed weapon. So that's great. And... Um, Perforate of Bloodshed though is actually sadly underperforming because despite having its 75% multiplier removed, it just doesn't feel as strong as I thought it would, you know? Or, you know, maybe you guys have something else in mind which can work. Like, maybe there's something that I missed and of course, if you guys have had any uh, good experiences with Perforate of Bloodshed, please, please let me know, you know? Like, I want to see Perforate of Bloodshed work because... I had high hopes for it because you know I hope I I thought we would have a new bleed build ready or I thought we had a new bleed meta ready and you know as you can see with the build um, we are playing the bleed meta I mean in a kind of a different way well basically using all of these new uniques together especially Ralakesh is impatient it has been amazing to use and uh, so yeah without further ado though so that's how the build performs I mean it performs well but you know, without the amount of investment that we've done with it, it's not gonna be not gonna be performing that well, unless you uh, really get into it, and unless you're a little bit lucky. Because, take note, this goddamn hatchet is still not finished, and I've already wasted so much currency on it. Like, I've even had friends give me <laughs> give me a little bit more currency just so that just so they can see me craft it. Because they're just having so much fun seeing me losing the DOT multiplier when I annul or losing the physical uh, the physical damage mod when I annul. These guys are torturing me, but oh well, they are my friends. But yeah. So, quick recap on how the build works. You have four uniques here that work in conjunction with each other. Rolla Kesha's Impatience will automatically count as all of the charges that you have as maximum value replica badge of the brotherhood is going to be your durability enhancer here because you are going to have the same equivalent of uh endurance and frenzy charges and then usurper's penance will be used to scale your bleeding with frenzy charge and olesia's delight as well they will both work with scaling your uh bleeding because affliction charges can deal eight more damage with ailments uh per frenzy charge that is generated, which will be then converted into an affliction charge. And how do we generate frenzy charges? Well, the Raider's Charm, which generates a frenzy charge on hit. And it works on bosses as well. So you literally won't have a problem generating frenzy charges. You don't need to have Blood Rage. And then, you know, for the clear, of course, you basically have the whole Gladiator Ascendancy here. And that's it. So it's basically just getting Resolute Technique getting all of the bleed damage that you can get and just getting all of the frenzy charges as you can see we have savage rune fervor here and frenetic has been uh, anointed because it's a little too far off but pretty cheap anointment so that's basically it and if you want to increase the damage even more you can just get yourself a warlord uh gloves because the warlord gloves has the frenzy charge suffix so what i would suggest if you want to go that route spam essences of zeal until you hit your uh plus one to maximum frenzy charges and then lock your suffixes and then keep reforging life until you get good tier one life and then finish it off with maybe a bench with you know physical attack and then that's it you know and uh i mean my two cents about the build is it fun yes is it practical it's, I'm kind of leading towards no because there are a lot of builds that can do way more with the amount of investment that you've done with this like um, especially with me being unlucky in crafting this league oh my god like 20 divines is no joke for someone that can only play you know 8 or 9 hours every 3 days because you know I still have to go to work and I was doing this for the sake of research and finding out 
how the new uh, blade skills uh, felt. And uh, Blade Storm has been pretty okay, actually. Perforate has been lackluster, which is pretty sad. And since Bleed is on topic anyways, um, they really need to change the Gladiator. They, the Gladiator is way overdue for a WeWork, you know, because, like... This basically defines the whole gladiator ascendancy, and the duelists can just keep taking it anyway. They can just keep using it. And right now, in the Affliction League, anyone can be a gladiator now. And, you know, it's just... It's just been kind of sad that it's been nerfed in a way, but, you know, I'm not saying... Those who are playing gladiators now, I'm not putting any hate on y'all. Now, if that's... If that is your preferred ascendancy, then yeah, sure, go for it. Yeah, it's just, it's just kind of sad that, you know, this is basically Gladiator with a few extra steps. And a few very strong extra steps, mind you. But yeah. That's basically it, though. I mean, you still have some headroom on it, at least, you know. You can get yourself a synthesized uh, shield that'll give you plus one maximum frenzy charges, but they're way too steep for that point. And of course, you know, there are other ways to get it. I mean, you could technically do a two-handed build. I think two-handed uh, bleed builds are better anyways. But, you know, I just miss having the one-handed build. But, you know, I mean, that's it. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm bitter towards anything. I'm not... I'm not mad towards anyone. You know, it's just like, it's kind of sad that the gladiator has been brought down... Not just to its knees, but into its literal grave. So, yeah, I mean, let me let me know how you guys have been experiencing it, and if you've been playing uh, bleed builds as well, let me know how it's been going, because I'm pretty interested in that. And uh, so for now, I'm gonna basically take a break from Path of Exile, because I mean, not even the challenge rewards are pretty exciting. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna enjoy streaming again with my friends. I'm gonna tell them that I have appeared once more. And uh, you know, we're gonna have some fun variety content on the channel. And tomorrow we're actually gonna stream some Minecraft because it's been heavily requested out of nowhere. So yeah, <laughs> I am gonna play Minecraft again. So that has been it guys. Hope you all enjoyed and uh, I shall be seeing you all on the flip side then.